Uh, good day, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming for my talk. Uh, I'd like to speak about a project I have in Moscow State University, uh, which my students and I work on simulation of global networks. Uh, I am graduated from uh, Calculation Math Department of Moscow State University and uh, remained in academia, uh, where I'm now. Uh, uh, after PhD period, I uh, have a few students uh, working on the project of simulating uh, some aspects of uh, network. And uh, my background is uh, mostly in security area. I worked with uh, intrusion detection systems, uh, SNORT, uh, for example. Uh, I did some antivirus research, uh, optimizing algorithms, and uh, uh, implementing data mining algorithms for malware detection. And uh, in simulation, I work uh, on uh, systems uh, efficiency uh, measurement, uh, such as uh, high load systems, for example, uh, DDoS systems analyzing, and so forth. Uh, my agenda is as follows. I will start with uh, some introductory part, uh, what, uh, what is the area from uh, our point of view. Uh, then I'll have a few words on simulation and modeling, so the audience will be uh, in, in, in fact with uh, the flow of the presentation. Uh, and uh, then I'll describe uh, the view, the model that uh, we're implementing uh, and components of it, uh, and uh, uh, also show some examples of uh, components uh, running uh, and outputs and discuss some troubles we're running into, some uh, problems that arise when we try to simulate uh, large-scale networks. Uh, what's uh, uh, in the area, what we're looking at? We're looking at the network, uh, which is a large-scale one, uh, like a regional network or the whole internet itself, for example. Uh, which is pretty large by the numbers of hosts, of routers, of packets, and so forth. Uh, and the network uh, main uh, uh, duties are to maintain operation, uh, such as updating router tables, for example, and providing service for uh, network uh, uh, servers and uh, their clients uh, for exchanging traffic, and there we have some uh, metrics to uh, measure uh, via simulation. Malware uh, is spreading across the network, uh, must be located somewhere, and uh, using some algorithms, uh, choosing targets, uh, and uh, trying to attack them to spread further, uh, after which it can perform attacks, misuse, uh, like example, for example, DDoS attacks, uh, or sending out spam. And security systems uh, are uh, located on uh, network uh, hosts or uh, subnets to prevent malware from spreading, to detect malware, and so forth. Uh, so we are uh, looking into firewall, uh, intrusion uh, detection and prevention systems, uh, and uh, host antivirus uh, uh, types of security systems. So. Uh, Said all this, uh, what, uh, what is the common ground for uh, malware to uh, look into uh, in the whole uh, network? Uh, from our standpoint point of view, it's traffic generated both by uh, malware that tries to uh, perform attacks or trying to spread in, uh, in the network. So uh, all the actions that were uh, actions that can be performed by malware are affecting traffic that is uh, transmitted uh, in the network. Uh, and uh, consequences of the attacks uh, also can be measured with traffics uh, being transmitted or season being transmitted uh, and uh, infrastructure state. Uh, also, uh, sure, there is some um, uh, me measures that uh, cannot be uh, discussed uh, in uh, this uh, space, for example, uh, rootkit ability to uh, defend themselves from antivirus systems on uh, host, but uh, it also can be uh, implemented in the model, uh, like uh, uh, 
malware ability to defend, to stay against uh, security systems. So we are looking into traffic uh, model as uh, the measurable thing and everything other uh, could be uh, implemented via, via uh, stuff like uh, uh, decreasing uh, security systems uh, efficiency, for example. Okay, and uh, the scope of our project uh, is, uh, our project is called Global Network Hybrid Simulation. I will just uh, explain why uh, we are going to make a hybrid simulation engine. Uh, and uh, the uh, uh, scope is uh, as follows. Uh, we have large-scale networks. Uh, we want to analyze uh, security issues. Uh, such as malware population and uh, network uh, performance, network security system performance. And uh, uh, another interesting question we are run ac across is uh, uh, the problem that uh, it's pretty much hard to uh, not only fit some requirements, but also set requir requirements for such a complex uh, uh, simulation task. So we need uh, to uh, create uh, 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 simulation engine that uh, is computationally feasible, uh, both in uh, terms of memory and uh, CPU, uh, and uh, we need to uh, think uh, beforehand about uh, simulation setup data availability. Uh, speaking on uh, modeling simulation, uh, there is uh, there are plenty of uh, efforts uh, uh, in simulating of networks, uh, in simulating of uh, pro network protocols. Uh, most of them are mm, um, using a packet as a ba basic entity and pa packet sending and packet receiving uh, events uh, they are handling to uh, advance um, uh, simulation time. Uh, and uh, if we look into model, model is an abstraction of object. So uh, we need to uh, describe an object in, uh, in a way that is meaningful in terms of our question of simulation uh, and uh, make some uh, approximation, which is uh, uh, changing uh, functions uh, to more simple or assumptions like removing some uh, uh, features that are not that, that important to reduce uh, complexity of the model. Uh, and in complexity, two main uh, aspects are uh, object entities count, so how many objects do we have to keep in memory, and the number of events uh, uh, which uh, actually prevents us from uh, adjusting uh, model time via uh, Volkov time. Uh, there are plenty of approaches, uh, and uh, uh, some of them are more complex, uh, some of them less, co uh, less precise, more precise. Uh, for example, this one is uh, describing, uh, uh, this picture describes packet exchange, while this uh, one describes uh, system dynamics and this uh, basic epidemi epidemiological model, suspectable, uh, infected, uh, resistant. Uh, yeah, uh, but, uh, a few words about going straightforward and uh, using packets uh, as a basic entity in simulation. Actually, it's good. If you look into engines that are used uh, for uh, simulation of, uh, and uh, for example, protocols verification, they are pretty much straightforward. They are using a program uh, that will be verificated as a model because it's already an abstraction of algorithm. Uh, and it can be used uh, straightforward, and the res results of simulation are uh, exactly uh, apply applicable to the, to the subject. You don't need to do any assumptions, any uh, analysis of our model output. But if you look uh, into uh, the subject we are running into, uh, we will see the numbers uh, that are pretty much um, removing the issue of using the packet as a basic entity. Because uh, if we are uh, looking on internet, for example, we have 100 millions of hosts, uh, 700, I guess, right now. 
oh, let's let's say we, we take uh, 100, uh, and uh, we need, we can uh, calculate uh, approximately uh, numbers of routers uh, and uh, packets per second. Uh, numbers are pretty much. Uh, uh, removing the opportunity to use uh, packets as a basic entity. Because um, the other problem is that uh, in simulation you have to, uh, you, uh, uh, you always need to think about um, uh, entities of the model uh, affecting each other. So you don't simply have uh, uh, 10 and power of 10 events but you have these events uh, uh, relating to each other. And the goal is to run actually faster than real time. So if you have uh, packets uh, per second uh, of 50,000, uh, so you need, uh, uh, you need to uh, be able to parse uh, at least this, mu this many events uh, per second to be faster than real time, or else you'll be uh, drawn back in uh, simulation, so starting to get in late, in just in time you've started the simulation, which uh, restricts the model use uh, from, for example, being uh, introduced into real traffic system or just simply it's uh, not, not good when your simulation engines work slower than real time. So what uh, can be done uh, to reduce uh, the uh, complexity of the model. We can get rid of some uh, of entities and events. We are go running into some errors. Uh, uh, we can measure the, this error level and set some uh, borders not, which we are not going to cross. But uh, where uh, this way we can uh, significantly reduce uh, the complexity, the memory demands. Uh, and uh, this uh, can make actually feasible uh, the whole simulation uh, engine development. Uh, well, our approach to uh, describe network model uh, is as follows. Uh, we, we want to split the network in more meaningful for us part uh, and less uh, meaningful. For example, we can uh, choose a small uh, small segment of the network to be absorbed uh, absorbed part of the network and uh, d describe the channels to the outer segments which can be pretty much uh, the 80 to 90 percent actually of the host count which will uh, communicate traffic to us uh, and uh, affect our network so we are not just simply putting them away from the model but uh, keeping them inside uh, and uh, look into observed network on the autonomous systems level, uh, so uh, uh, under under which we have uh, border routers infrastructure, uh, and inside we have some domains uh, which we are describing as uh, uh, vectors uh, of uh, characteristics. Uh, and this way we are reducing the large uh, amount of uh, entities in the uh, uh, net network model. Uh, if we are speaking about traffic, uh, we, are, uh, we want to uh, get rid of the packets uh, at least for uh, the vast amount of communication. Uh, how this can be done? Uh, we can uh, uh, concentrate not on packet sending events but on sessions, for example, going uh, one level up uh, from IP to TCP. Uh, but uh, if we are doing so, we are uh, running into problems with uh, uh, error handling. So we need uh, to find a way to uh, find out not only how to lose packets correctly, delay packets correctly, but also how to uh, make uh, applications work correctly if they are losing some packets and we are not uh, actually have uh, uh, the uh, exact packet what which we are lost we have lost but we are uh, getting the percentage of lost packets uh, how uh, can this can be done we are using uh, uh, traffic flow uh, approach uh, which uh, was discussed uh, in uh, in a few papers for some time 
uh, we are using uh, traffic flow uh, from one uh, domain and autonomous system to another. Uh, and uh, uh, we still uh, keep some packet level simulation because uh, we need to uh, be able to implement such uh, stuff like routing updates, which will be um, critical for the whole network behavior. Uh, and technically, we have uh, time step uh, flows uh, calculation uh, for every traffic type. So we have, we have um, uh, traffic types for malware, a few of them. We have a few traffic types for legitimate uh, usage of the network. Uh, and uh, for routing, we are uh, calculating weights uh, that will uh, regulate flows. Uh, and uh, uh, routing update tables are updating weights uh, on the corresponding router in the, in the graph of the network. So uh, if we look uh, into traffic lifecycle, traffic needs to be generated, traffic uh, going to be transmitted, and traffic going to be consumed. Uh, on every stage, we uh, need to uh, dig into questions de deeper to understand what are the problems uh, are during the uh, generation, transmission, or consumption. Because uh, if you are running on packet level, it's pretty simple. You just uh, get an uh, automata or uh, algorithm in any other form that is using uh, some uh, algorithm to uh, choose address, for example, uh, choose how fast it can run on some host to, uh, uh, to find out limitations that it have to for amounts that it can generate in any given time. Uh, for same for transmission, same for consumption. If you are go going to read out, read of uh, host level and going to read out of uh, packet level, you need uh, some uh, means to understand uh, how uh, address will be generated uh, and what is address in this uh, uh, in, in, in this uh, representation of traffic and uh, what amount actually is being produced. Uh, same for traffic transmission. Uh, we need to uh, understand uh, how uh, to uh, represent uh, queuing uh, handling algorithms, such as uh, RED, for example. Uh, we need to uh, figure out uh, delays, how to handle them. Uh, and uh, if we are looking into the question of uh, router state, we need to understand how to how traffic is affecting transmitters, for example, uh, how uh, uh, tra packet size uh, to packet count to traffic, ca to traffic size uh, count uh, ratio uh, affecting uh, any given router we are using. So uh, in our model, we have uh, something like three, uh, three level architecture. Uh, we have a model for traffic generation, uh, which is um, uh, uh, tied to a uh, violator's model uh, in case of malware or a user uh, model in case of legitimate traffic. Uh, we need uh, uh, application level, level traffic model, which will shape uh, the amount of communication between uh, software on the network uh, the way it, uh, you, uh, it looks like uh, on uh, network protocols uh, using uh, the uh, uh, theory of self-similarity, uh, which comes handy here. And uh, on network, we need to uh, use topology, and we need to use routing tables, routing information uh, to calculate uh, delays, to calculate uh, traffic loss correctly. And we need to coordinate so uh, uh, traffic we lost here doesn't, uh, so we don't receive on the end more than we sent uh, by, by some time back. Uh, if we speak on some more uh, uh, topic that is clo closer to uh, us here uh, about malware, uh, we can uh, speak about uh, Malware parameters that I often used uh, in uh, epidemical model, in uh, simple model, um, multi-agent models, for example. 
uh, that are describing malware dynamics uh, in networks. We have a uh, population which is uh, counted somehow, somehow placed on the network. Uh, the, it has some spreading mechanisms which involves uh, attack vectors, uh, choosing target and uh, intensity it uh, tries to uh, uh, spread itself. And uh, we also can have some payload execution, for example, performing uh, network scans, performing DOS attacks and so forth. Uh, coming to this question, uh, uh, we found out that it's important to uh, split uh, the whole idea of addressing uh, at malware and maybe on some legitimate uh, protocols to uh, two uh, groups. First group is a single targeted uh, type of communication where uh, the uh, agents spread across the network communicate to one server. Uh, for uh, malware use, uh, it will be corresponding to DDoS attack, where uh, web server DDoS attack, for example, uh, or web server usage, where we have one point and uh, we need to uh, calculate uh, correctly delivery of uh, the traffic from the uh, different points of network to this uh, point, uh, uh, to this point of uh, the server uh, is. And multi-targeted multi uh, Addressing is uh, when uh, malware is um, from malware is trying to spread itself. For example, uh, it tries to uh, try some algorithm like uh, IP address generation, uh, and uh, this uh, this type of activity is uh, should be calculated for every uh, domain or every autonomous system and can be. Uh, described as the ratio of uh, the traffic spreading across the nearby uh, domains or whole domains in the network. Because uh, it can be done the way uh, it was uh, made with single targeted attack. Uh, and the uh, following interesting question is how do we handle uh, switching uh, of malware from one activity to another? Uh, if we take, for example, botnets, uh, the botnet uh, life can be divided in uh, spreading uh, part and uh, performing some service for the botmaster. Uh, so uh, we uh, need to describe the model of, of how malware is switching from one activity to another or mix somehow both activities. Uh, and here also we have some interesting field which is uh, like uh, an opening in our, in our whole our project where we can install additional models of how uh, uh, switching, uh, switching occurs, uh, for example, how fast the whole uh, distributed network of agents can be switched given the uh, uh, state the network is and given the place uh, from which uh, the uh, command comes from. And here we need to implement, uh, here we are going probably to implement uh, uh, some algorithms of uh, command and control channels. So, for example, uh, it will be it should should look uh, completely different if we take uh, uh, centralized algorithm or peer-to-peer -peer algorithm for uh, command and control, and uh, it affects both uh, the speed uh, of uh, how command will be delivered and how fast the attack, for example, will start. Uh, and uh, uh, also it will uh, be interesting to work on the uh, violators model uh, for this task, uh, which is, uh, uh, which commands how uh, Botmaster uh, changes comments over the time and how it affects, how fast it can affect uh, the bot network, for example. But it's slightly into, into the future where the uh, the whole, the rest of the uh, components are ready and running. Uh, so uh, I've uh, touched the problem of uh, malware, but uh, uh, looking into this question, we can have uh, where we've came across some uh, more advanced stuff uh, that uh, malware versus security networks. Uh, uh, can be analyzed, can be introduced into the model. 
such as uh, using uh, the noise level of malware generates to uh, uh, co correlate with uh, how fast it uh, gets cured, uh, how uh, it can be, uh, uh, how uh, affects the presence of the malware, the fact that it fortificates on host and is hard to uh, read, get rid of, or uh, also uh, the uh, problems of uh, uh, now popular tr try and dropping technique when one, tra uh, one uh, malware downloads a bunch of other malware tools uh, and uh, infecting hosts, hosts much, much deeper than um, ever before. Uh, and also we can uh, uh, implement uh, some uh, security system tweaks as well, uh, which will affect as well as cleaning malware and blocking spreading attempts, which is basic, but also blocking command and con uh, command control traffic, uh, which will bring uh, some root uh, bots uh, to the network, which keep in attacks uh, on the uh, uh, services that are not uh, no longer wish to be attacked by the bot masters, for example, which, uh, uh, as I know, is happening from time to time. Uh, and uh, another interesting question is uh, updates, how uh, malware updates itself, how security systems updates and patching uh, uh, ne networks, it protects uh, the question of uh, patching window how uh, the size of patching window uh, point where the patch has been developed to point where it has been, has been installed uh, affects uh, the uh, epidemics. Uh, and if uh, we can uh, tie uh, patching window time to uh, patching uh, window time of malware, uh, that when bot masters uh, figures out that uh, his malware being cured, for example, and uh, develops patch himself against this patch to keep his bots alive. How, uh, how fast uh, can be uh, security systems plus uh, network administration versus uh, bot masters uh, to actually get rid of bots? It's another interesting question which, which uh, uh, can be simulated on the, this level of abstraction. Uh, if we look uh, into security systems, uh, we can uh, consider them actually as a network service uh, which uh, uh, accept the whole traffic that passes by them uh, on the input, uh, have some state, uh, can have uh, uh, memory um, uh, and uh, uh, some uh, have some uh, hardware, hardware they run or have some limitations due to hardware need to perform in real time and uh, uh, can block, uh, mistakenly block some traffic, uh, which can be done if, uh, either uh, cons constantly, for example, uh, which is uh, closer for uh, signature-based uh, uh, algorithms and systems and uh, can be uh, not so persistent, for example, for blacklisting techniques and uh, Statical an statistical analysis techniques. Uh, but uh, in general, we can uh, look into mo uh, security model, uh, security system model like this. We have collection buffer, which, which is limited by the uh, uh, hardware. Uh, we have analyzer engine. Uh, we, have, we can have state of uh, the system if we are using stateful analysis, for example, keeping logs uh, for the uh, established uh, network sessions uh, until they are closed. Uh, and we have some filtering, uh, which is uh, filter some uh, uh, malware traffic as, uh, as well as some legitimate traffic. Uh, so, and uh, if uh, we describe uh, the model like this, uh, we can uh, then uh, introduce some errors or uh, failures uh, to the security systems, which can be either uh, uh, scheduled, like we want to see what will happen if uh, some security system will, uh, will be falling because uh, of uh, attack on them, uh, and we can uh, introduce some uh, shapes. It falls, it's recurring fall, or it uh, fails and need to be 
manually rebooted for, for uh, because of the attack. Uh, and also we can uh, try to look into the question of how different systems uh, that are uh, working on uh, the same traffic flow uh, co uh, going, going well together. How, how are they performing together? Is it, uh, is it helping in any way or is it just uh, increasing delay? How many uh, systems do we passing uh, during the traffic flow from one system to another. Uh, here's some uh, simulation example from uh, some, some tra tra uh, traffic uh, example from uh, uh, fa fa uh, security system failure. Here we have malware traffic entering domain and uh, after the uh, intrusion prevention system uh, fails, we are uh, going down uh, and malware traffic go, uh, jumps up. Uh, so uh, it's uh, kind of the behavior that uh, our model uh, can reproduce. Uh, and that's uh, how it uh, can be introduced to the whole model uh, uh, of the global network. If we speak about efficiency metrics, um, we have uh, for every component we can have uh, Efficiency metric, we, which we either can have uh, fixed, uh, like a given parameter of the, uh, any given simulation, or we can try to estimate. For example, we have uh, malware population dynamics, which we can uh, uh, try to calculate, or we can uh, fix and say that uh, we have an epidemics uh, that uh, uh, goes like uh, this pattern, for example, and then calculate traffic from this. Uh, uh, epidemic uh, and uh, try to figure how it affects our network. Uh, uh, we have uh, s uh, efficiency metrics as well for uh, security systems uh, and uh, from uh, network points of view we have uh, some uh, um, metrics that uh, allow us to understand how a uh, user can feel the presence of security network and malware to uh, calculate some um, uh, cumulative um, uh, efficiency metric. Uh, here we have uh, some uh, example of uh, the statistical uh, data approximation uh, using our model of uh, uh, epidemical spreading and as well as traffic generation. So we have uh, this, uh, this is a sample of code red. Uh, and uh, uh, we have uh, uh, the model that is a uh, model of traffic generation run, uh, run uh, on top of uh, uh, malware, uh, malware growth uh, dynamics. Uh, so uh, it uh, can be, it's feasible to uh, uh, um, or find a correlation uh, and uh, to tune uh, this model for real samples uh, back in history. Uh, if we speak about a uh, network that is affected uh, by uh, the activity of uh, malware and uh, uh, security systems, we uh, can uh, look into packet loss, traffic delay, jitter, which is uh, the uh, calibration of um, uh, uh, delay. Uh, and uh, also we can uh, add to the mix uh, and host malfunctioning uh, and uh, network infrastructure uh, overload which uh, will be uh, like a large scale incident uh, which will uh, reduce the overall uh, possibility of network usage. Uh, that is uh, the reason why we need to keep uh, packet level. Uh, as I mentioned above, uh, we are using uh, BGP routing uh, model for autonomous system uh, routing updates. So we can have actually uh, real life dumps of uh, BGP tables uh, and uh, try to uh, run updates uh, across our simulation network. Uh, calculate what uh, will update will come to and try to announce update uh, 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 knowing the state of the channels in simulation. 
uh, uh, if we look into problems with uh, network services, uh, uh, how, how is it, uh, this uh, simulation engine can be useful for them uh, for uh, uh, preventing them to fail. Uh, they, this model can be used to understand the additional horsepower is needed uh, for DDoS, for example, and how uh, long will uh, last, uh, as well as the services themselves, as well as infrastructures as, such as uh, DNS, for example, uh, and uh, how uh, useful can be alternative services locations, how far, uh, if we look into uh, problems uh, from uh, the time the bot master can switch uh, malware from one point to another, uh, and how fast can we switch, and how fast users uh, users will switch uh, with DNS some days and so forth. Uh, and uh, we can try to play with uh, some uh, con congestions technique, uh, st switching to static uh, versions of, of websites, for example. Uh, try to look how it affects network, if it's uh, a network overload attack uh, type, uh, or how it uh, overloads uh, the server itself. Uh, and patching window is really interesting uh, uh, to look into in um, uh, epidemic staying alive uh, uh, and not giving up to uh, antivirus updates or uh, uh, vulnerabilities patching. Here is some uh, cool looking uh, visualization, which you can patch part you can't uh, skip. So we have a few resources. Uh, here we have attack on them. This line is IP address space. We have some uh, flows that are uh, related to this resource uh, in uh, time. Uh, and uh, the final question, but it's actually appeared to be a, a, a pretty complicated one because we need uh, to uh, uh, to get through uh, mathematical complexities, which is pretty well documented, uh, I, I can say, and uh, we can run through uh, uh, in information security uh, troubles which we are working on, and we can we know something that we can use and uh, where to find information. But uh, gathering information to run experiments is pretty hard. For example, uh, recently we found uh, tried to find bandwidth uh, uh, from uh, uh, global network uh, from internet. Uh, we've tried to uh, build a graph uh, uh, that connects. Um, different uh, parts of the network. Uh, we run across a few uh, measurement uh, reports, which are not uh, really uh, uh, repeating each other. They, are, they have some points different. For example, most of them just simply don't have Russia on them. It's not interesting for them. Uh, and we, for, for some reason, I am interested. Uh, and uh, uh, so we have uh, some troubles uh, with uh, collecting data. We are using such techniques as uh, uh, looking into uh, registries, databases, uh, RIPE, and uh, IRIN, and so forth, uh, looking into reports, uh, and uh, also we are. Uh, going actually to write some uh, own tools to uh, scan network to govern network. Uh, it's a question maybe if uh, you have an ideas how have ideas how to it can be helped uh, uh, to find bandwidth to find uh, uh, out uh, inner structure of uh, autonomous systems uh, in inner connection structures. Uh, it can can be useful right now. Uh, uh, we have no uh, troubles with uh, malware st statistics. Uh, we've made some homework on this, and we have some uh, pr pr pretty much uh, a base of uh, malware statistics spreading. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I've published it somewhere, but it's available. Uh, uh, here are some. Uh, thoughts about how uh, the whole system can be used. Uh, we can um, 
uh, analyze impact uh, of uh, uh, security system introduced into the network uh, uh, to understand is it uh, uh, a good thing from the uh, impact versus price uh, point. Uh, we can try to uh, run some congestion uh, algorithms which uh, are not was possible to test uh, either on real network or packet level simulators or even uh, some uh, uh, one uh, non non hybrid non uh, uh, fixed level of abstraction simulators uh, and uh, we can uh, look into network stability uh, issues because uh, we have a BGP uh, module uh, in the network simulation uh, we can try to uh, look what happen if we have uh, an attack, a DDoS attack, for example, uh, and in the same time uh, we have some malicious uh, advertising of BGP root uh, routing, uh, for example, uh, and so forth. And uh, speaking of plans, uh, we are pretty much finished, I guess, with components uh, and uh, finishing integration. Uh, test runs will be held uh, this uh, winter. Uh, I hope to publish uh, the project to make it public uh, as well uh, this uh, uh, following year. Uh, we are open to discuss and cooperation. We are not yet tied in any way with anybody uh, in this project, so uh, we are open. Uh, and uh, we are, I'm trying to uh, bring some uh, interested uh, people to uh, Moscow State University and some people from other conferences were interested uh, in if you are interested or you have somebody who is a student, a PhD student, who is interested in simulation, in uh, malware simulation, you are welcome to, uh, to contact me. So here are some references, keywords you can Google and find uh, the uh, large amount of information of the subjects. Uh, that were touched uh, in my s uh, speech. And that's it. Uh, my contacts are here, as well as Twitter, LinkedIn, or whatever you find. Uh, it's all here. Uh, I'll be glad to discuss it uh, later as well as right now. I'll, I'm ready for questions. Thank you. Do we have? Uh, actually, a bunch of questions. Uh, first of all, uh, you moved from a, from a packet level uh, to a flow level simulation. Yes. Uh, can you really manage to uh, simulate the effects of the, t of the, of the TCP question control? If, for me, it seems like very hard to, to, to get this feedback loop because yeah. TCP yeah. traffic kind of depends on, on the network conditions. So, uh, I, I see. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, TCP congestions and any uh, loopback control is pretty different to get into the model. Uh, we can uh, um, uh, we can uh, uh, manually uh, add effect of uh, TCP congestion uh, into the model. Like for example, uh, we are uh, uh, going to uh, um, reduce a traffic window on. Uh, uh, the state of the following router. Uh, uh, I, I, I possess the knowledge uh, how, uh, how uh, surrounded routers are loaded. So I can uh, calculate in uh, advance of a time. Uh, I'm not really getting uh, congestion control packets for me, but uh, I, uh, if, if I know that uh, uh, congestions, uh, techniques, uh, congestion protocols will kick in, I can uh, just uh, order myself to reduce the flow in, in, t in some time advance. Okay, thank you. And second question. Uh, this looks to me quite interesting to um, simulate the optimal distribution of any cast nodes for DNS deployments. Any ideas on that? Uh, DNS? DNS any casting. Oh, DNS any casting. To how, how to place uh, name servers for optimal resilience against attacks. 
or it might be interesting. I have, haven't thought about it. it it's, thank you very much. It's, uh, I will speak to you later. Thank you. Do we have another question? Well, you might ask where low cats are. No, but <laughs> no low cats for us. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, until one.